Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about what is partitioner, how to implement your custom partitioner, and custom partitioners, driver class, mapper class, reducer class, and the partitioner class too, and the execution of the custom partitioner as well. Partitioner. So till now we have seen the mappers, reducers, combiners as well. So what is this partitioner and when we are going to use the partitioner is nothing but based on your mapper output result, specific keys you wanted to send it to the specific reducer. That means whatever the word count example we discussed, I wanted to send the words which are starting with letter A to I need to be go to the reducer 1 and which are from word J to N should be going into the reducer 2 and the last reducer consisting of the words which are starting with the letter O to the Z is going into the third reducer. So if I have any such kind of the requirement of dividing my reducer results based upon my mapper output keys, then what we can do is we can implement our own custom partitioner. We can write our own custom partitioner code which takes care about dividing the mapper results into your reducers respectively. So how we are going to implement the custom partitioner is nothing but first of all in the driver class you must need to set up the partitioner class details with the help of job dot set partitioner class where you are going to write the code on which basis you are going to divide your keys mapper output keys into your different reducers. And in your partitioner class, you must need to extend the partitioner and overwrite the get partition method. In this get partition method, we are going to write our business logic. For example, here in the word count, you can even simply check caret of 0th position. That means the first character you can check whether it is starting with the A to I. Then we can send the results to the first reducer. Like that the logic can be written as part of your get partition method which consisting of the three parameters which are the key and the value and the number of reducer tasks as well. So this number of reduce tasks is nothing but if the value suppose if I set it as a 3 so 3 different reducer files are going to be created as a final result. So in this custom partitioner example, what we are going to see is, see the sample input file over here, these are all the student details which consisting of student name, gender, age and marks. This is a CSV file let's assume, these are all the comma separated ones. So by looking at that particular input file, what we are going to achieve is, I wanted to divide this result set into the three different files based on the age. That means the age is less than or equal to 20 should go to the reducer 1. The age between the 22 and 30 should be going into the reducer 2 and greater than 30 should be going into the reducer 3 such kind of the three different file I require and what I am going to find it out over here is I wanted to see the maximum marks in the each gender. That means here we have a female and the male groups. So in the male group, 
who is having a more marks in that particular age which is 20 or 20 to 30 or more than 30 so i should see the three different files which consisting of the results of the name of the person and what is the age and how many marks he got we should see only the maximum marks according to that particular gender top marks in that female top marks in the male gender as well based upon the group so how to achieve this there is nothing but first of all similar to all other programs we also need to write our driver class so this is the tool learner interface driver class which we have written if you see the content over here inside this similar to all other programs like a word count or whatever the previous programs we discussed this is also the same except the highlighted line which is job dot set partitioner class with the help of the job dot set partitioner class I'm going to define a class and in this class we are going to extend the partitioner and override the get partition method and we are going to write our custom code like with the help of the loops if loop where age is less than or equal to 20 or 20 to 30 such kind of the conditions which we are going to specify as part of this class and also here we are mentioning there is something called a set num reduce task so what exactly this thing is nothing but based upon how many different types of files are required how many output files are required so if i specify it as a three a three different files are going to be created as a final reducer output the rest of the things are same i have not changed any of the program and here either you can use your tool runner or else you can even write your plain job as well anything is fine but only the two additional lines for your uh, custom partitioners are job dot set partitioner class and job dot set number of reducer tasks these two you have to set according to your need suppose if i require a file different files i should set this set number of the reducer tasks to five so here if we see the mapper class in this mapper class whatever the student details are there it is going to be read uh, line by line and these are separated with comma these values so we simply use it first of all this text was converted into the string and then we are using the java string methods which is a split let's assume if it is separated with a tab or or space or then we can directly give that with the help of the split and here we are getting all these values like first one is the student name as it is starting with the zero one two three like that so here the first one is the name gender age and the marks so if you see this what is the key and what is the value which we need to emit is nothing but as in this example we would like to calculate the maximum marks according to the gender that is the reason why here I am considering the key as a gender and the value instead of a single value I am combining the multiple fields together and I am using that as a value you see this name age and marks all of these things I am combining and taking it as a one field the reason is I require the age because in the partitioner class I need to extract this particular age and based on this age I need to write a program with the help of the if loops like if age is greater than 20 go to this particular uh, place and 20 to 30 or more than 30 I have to use this age what about the marks I need to find out the maximum marks in the reducer so I must require this marks as well and I should need the name as well because I should know who got the more marks what is the name what is his name or her name that is the reason why we combine all of these strings together with the help of a special character I mean special symbol called a tab or space or comma whatever and we are emitting that as a key and a value with the help of our context.write and now 
partitioner comes into the picture because before executing the reducer, your partitioner gets executed and it will take care about uh, reading these keys, whatever the mapper uh, things are there, based upon that it is going to be dividing into that specific reducer. So this is the partitioner class. If you see this, we extended the partitioner and we have overridden this get partition method. As we have seen, this consisting of a three parameters. One is the key value and this is the number of reduce task is nothing but the one which you have set it up in the driver class with the help of job dot set number of the reducer task to three we have set it up. So this value comes here. And what we are writing the code is nothing but in the mapper value, we have the name, age and the marks as well. So first of all, we are splitting it with the tag and then I am considering it only the age. As the age is the first field there, as it starts with the 0, 0 is the name and 1 is the age. So we are considering that age, but that is a string. I have to convert the string to the integer because I have to compare, I have to get these values between the 20 to 30 like that. So to convert the string to the integer, I am using the integer dot parsint which converts the string into your integer. If you want a float in any case, you have a float dot parse float methods are available. So after you got this age in the integer, you can simply check this. That means we are checking whether the age is less than or equal to 20, we are letting the system know that go to the first reducer, return 0, it is going to the reducer 1. Next one, the age is 20 to 30 in between, then it will be going into the return 1, that is going into the first reducer, second reducer. The next one is return 2 is nothing but it is going into the third reducer. Then what exactly this number of reducer task is nothing but? This is this value that is one module of three. This is the reminder. That is nothing but as we mentioned, this partitioner internally uses the hash function. So it uses the hash function and based upon the result, it will be going into the specific reducers. This is how which you need to write your partitioner class. So the whole and sole purpose of this partitioner class is to divide your uh, mapper keys into reducers accordingly. So in the reducer class, what I'm going to do is as I have to find out the maximum marks for the individual, uh, you know, the groups. So here, first of all, shuffle and sort phase will make sure that whatever the same keys are there, it will be grouped together. So the same key can have a multiple values. So that is the reason why we are using the for loop to navigate across the multiple values. And here, initially we are splitting it up as with the tag. And we are considering the marks over here. And as it is a text, I'm converting that into the integer with the help of the integer that parsing. And this particular if loop will take care about checking that maximum marks. I'm comparing the ma marks with the maximum marks and if it is high, then we are moving that into the maximum marks. Whenever I find it out the maximum marks, we are also finding it out the name. What is the name of this particular person and what is the age which group he belongs to. And finally, we are emitting this context.write. The key and value can be anything. I emitting with the name and also what is his age and what is the gender and what is the maximum marks. This is how and there are n number of the ways you can find it out the maxim, maximum numbers from the given values. So I have used this comparing the maximum, maximum marks with the existing marks and in case if it is high, we move that into the maximum marks. So the logic in the reducer does not change. The additional things in the custom partitioner what we have done is this one, partitioner class which I had shown you previously by overriding the get partition method is the one which we have done. So let me show you the execution of this program by logging into our Cloudera Quick Start VM.